In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can add your Google Forms link to your Facebook page. One will include a button and one you'll be able to see it's a link. So here's what you need to do. So first, go ahead and open up Google Forms, go to Forms and then open up the form you want to link. We will just link this company questions, then go to send in the top right hand corner, click on the link icon, click shorten URL and just grab this URL. Now head over to Facebook and once you're on Facebook, make sure you're on your Facebook page that you want to add the link to. I'm going to go to knowledge base. So I'm going to go to the icon in the top right. Then we'll click on knowledge base. Now the first way you can go ahead and add a button. So if you go to the three dots here at this top right hand corner, you can then click add action button. So once you click on that, you will then be able to add a button and you'll have all of these different options. If you want to just link your Google form, click sign up. You can also experiment with some of these, but this is going to create a sign up button. You might want contact us if you're adding a contact us form. So we'll just try that for the video. We'll now add the website link and here you can paste in your Google form, click save, and then it will add the button. Now you won't be able to see it yet, but if you go to the three dots and then view as, you'll see you've got your sign up button here. So that's going to be one way to add it. The other way, if you don't like that for some reason, you could add it in a post. But the way I'm going to show you is you can add it to your account here. So if you scroll down to intro, you can go ahead and click edit details. And if you scroll down to websites, you can add a website here. So click update your information and then we'll click add a website and you can paste in the Google form link here if you wanted to. That's going to add it to your page and then it will be here in the bottom left. So those are two ways that you can do it. Use one of them depending on what form you have. Uh, the button is quite useful though because it appears while on mobile but that's how you do it. I hope that helped you out.